Many people are considering starting a webshop, while many already have one, as it's a great way to sell one's goods. However, if you are selling to private individuals, not just in Denmark, but also in the EU, it raises questions about how to do this correctly. Our purpose in today's podcast episode is to guide you through this process. Welcome to the Business Lessons in Denmark podcast. Our podcast gives the answers to your business-related questions that haven't been answered yet or things that haven't even crossed your mind. My name is Reju Almasi and I am here with Katalin Balok, the founder of Cool Accounts APS, a Danish accounting firm. Hi, Kati. I think we should briefly explain to our liberal viewers why I am here instead of Edina today. Yes, <laughs> the observant listener or viewer may have noticed that something's different compared to before. And since you and Edina don't even resemble each other, they couldn't pretend you are Edina. <laughs> well, that's probably true. Yeah. In short, Edina received a job offer she couldn't refuse. She will be the financial manager at a larger company providing janitor services. I shed a few tears, but you know how it goes. The show must go on. So here we are. <laughs> yes. And of course, we wish Edina good luck and all the best. Yes, absolutely. But uh, let's move on to, to introducing you to our listeners. Uh, well, my name is Reju and I'm happily married man. I mentioned this because my wife is also a regular listener of the podcast. <laughs> we live in Newland. I'm a mechanical engineer, but I am in the process of uh, reinventing myself. So I recently opened my photograph business here in Denmark just a few weeks ago, to be precise. So I'm a completely new business owner. And because of that, it might be easier for me to play the role of the ignorant business owner in this podcast as it was for Edina. Oh, okay. <laughs> we will see. <laughs> and if I may add something else, uh, we have been uh, getting smarter with your podcast. I think I can speak for many others when I say we appreciate your podcast so far. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, I'm very happy that you think that and feel that. Mm, you are welcome. Well, shall we dive into today's topic? Yeah, let's do it. In the last episode, a question was left open. How does it work by selling to individuals uh, in the EU, not to other companies? It occurred uh, to me that my wife, Eva, pursues those from nature and materials. What if she opened a webshop to sell these doors on a wider scale, even outside of Denmark, say to the EU? Mm. Well, then I would say that's a very, very good idea. Mm. Yes, I'm just thinking how would uh, invoicing work then? It's clear that if someone orders a door from Denmark, the webshop must issue an invoice as charge Danish VAT. Yeah, exactly. But what if, for example, a mother or grandmother living in Hungary buys a door from the webshop? Already here, a private individual from another EU country has made a purchase. Does Eva have to charge Danish VAT in this case as well? To answer that, I would need to know the volume of Eva's webshop sales to the EU. That is, whether her sales to private individuals in the EU exceed 10,000 euros annually or not. I see. Well, for now, it doesn't uh, exceed that. Uh, we hope it will grow, but for now we are still at the point where an interesting hobby is starting to become a business. Mm. So the traffic isn't that high yet. Okay. In that case, the rule is that for customers who are in the EU, but uh, reside in another country like Hungary, Germany, Spain, and so on, Eva must uh, charge Danish VAT on the invoice. Yes. 
So just as when Eva sells the door from her workshop to Gita, who lives in Copenhagen, Denmark, and charges Danish VAT on the door, she must also charge Danish VAT for the door she sells to Elizabeth, who lives in Hungary, right? Right, exactly. Okay. And what happens when annual sales exceed this magical 10,000 threshold? Well, then it gets more complicated because according to the rules in the case of distant sales, VAT must be paid in the consumer's country. Wow. I don't like complications. So, <laughs> so in this case, Eva must handle the fact that the VAT rate is different in each EU country, right? For example, VAT in Hungary is 27%, but in Germany is 90%, or in France is 20%, and in Sweden it's uh, 25%. Yes, that's correct. The web shop must charge VAT corresponding to the customer's country, and the VAT collected must be paid in the buyer's country. So in our example, the 27 percent VAT charged for dolls bought by Elizabeth or Maria or Sarah and other Hungarian customers must be paid to the Hungarian tax office. I see. That sounds very complicated. Does that mean a person has to prepare potentially 27 VAT reports and pay the VAT in 27 countries? Yes. It can be handled that way, but fortunately, there is a simpler solution also. Well, that's good news because I was afraid I, I'd have to tell to my wife, close that shop before it really begins. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I understand. Um, the simpler solution is to register and pay through a system called Mom's One Stop Shop. So. If Eva doesn't want to deal with 27 different EU countries individually, she can register here in Denmark with the Danish tax agency in the Mom's One Stop Shop system. Through this, she can declare all the VAT collected from customers living in different EU countries. This way, she only needs to file one report and make one payment. Mm, well, that sounds beat that uh, it's good to know there is a simple solution to this matter. Yes, absolutely. Even though this solution entails additional administrative obligations too, the market is still significantly larger. There is quite a big difference between the population of Denmark, which is around 5.56 million people, or the entire EU, nearly 450 million people. So there is a substantial market to tap into. Yes, selling in such a large market, uh, one can probably afford hiring an accountant to deal with the VAT reports, especially if, as you say, it can be done through the MAMS One Stop Shop system by reporting to the Danish tax agency. Yes, exactly. Okay, well, today we learned a lot again. Maybe we will check uh, deeper into these details later, but I think the main point is clear now. Super. I'm very glad to hear that. And as usual, we will include a link in the podcast description for more information on this topic. For anyone considering opening a web shop that will also sell in the EU or planning to offer electronic services, remote services, TV or radio broadcasts targeting citizens of other EU countries, it's advisable to check up on these rules. Okay. Well, our time for today's episode is coming to an end. Let's mention that we are about to introduce a new segment in the podcast for listeners' question. Yeah. Several listeners have suggested that it would be great if our listeners would be able to submit questions, which uh, we will answer in the podcast. You also suggested this, Reju. So based on the majority's will, we will introduce this section and eagerly wait listener questions. That's right. Dear listener, if you have a problem or an unanswered question keeping you up at night, don't hesitate to send us your question. We will explain 
how you can contact us at the end of this episode. Yes. And I'm already curious about the questions we will receive. Yes, me too. And let's not forget that the dolls made of natural materials are indeed real. So this was not a made up story. Mm, oh, yes. You're right. If anyone is interested, uh, they can contact me and my advice uh, will take care of it from there. Uh, the workshop isn't ready yet, but it's on to do list. Dear listener, that's all for today in the podcast. Thank you for your being with us and thank you, Kati, for the valuable information. Today's episode was sponsored by Cool Accounts APS. Cool Accounts APS can help with starting your company, with bookkeeping and tax matters, as well as with business and financial consulting. If you don't want to miss useful and up-to-date information, follow and like Business Lesson in Denmark on Facebook. You can get in contact via our website www.accounts.cool. We wish you a successful week.